Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate one approach to consolidating data. Taking information in multiple Excel worksheets and consolidating them into a totals report. We're going to be consolidating by position which means we're going to be taking information from four divisions north, south, east, and west. Each of the divisions is set up identically, meaning that each of the four divisions sells the same for product lines, storage, maintenance, software, and hardware, and we're reporting sales for the 12 months of a calendar year. Now, when we set up a consolidation, we set it up on a new worksheet or in a new workbook. So I established a new worksheet, but I set up the labels and I set up the formulas ahead of time. Here is where the information will be consolidated. All you have to do is select one cell, the upper leftmost cell in your destination sheet, your consolidation sheet. Next, you go to the Data tab in the ribbon. In Data Tools, choose Consolidate. Here's our Consolidate dialog box. First, choose the function. The sum is the default function. It's the most popular function. Next, choose the cell range references for each of the worksheets that you want to consolidate. So let's begin with the North Division. And all I have to do when I consolidate by position is choose the range once. So B5 through E16, but remember to click Add. So now when I click South, I have South automatically selected B5 through E16, click Add. So it's a simple matter when you are consolidating by position, select your first range, move to the next worksheet, but make sure you click Add. So North, South, East, and West, B5, E16, click OK. There's our consolidation really fast. Now, do notice that there are no formulas in this consolidation, which strikes many people as being strange. No links. This has produced the consolidation report using what many people refer to as a cumulative constant, which means that if a number changes in any one of the divisions, well, then the consolidation will not update. If you require it to be updated, we can do that very simply by following consolidation but adding create links to the source data. So over here I have a similar worksheet set up. And again, remember consolidation begins on a new worksheet or in a new workbook. One cell selected, data tab of the ribbon, consolidate, same dialog box. The cell references, again, will trace our steps select the range reference once because it's going to be identical. So when I come over here to South, all I have to do is click Add, East, and then click Add, West, and click Add. I do like to make sure I have all four in here. Now here is how we create a link. We just select this dialog box, Create Links to the Source Data. Click OK. And now when we click over here, notice that we have Expand and Collapse Outline. So if you've done subtotals, you're familiar with how you can expand or collapse the entire worksheet or expand or collapse any one of the values. Now there is an important gotcha step. Take a look over here on Consolidating with the Link, 26 million. Over here on the consolidation without the link, 13.7 million. This is the correct number, 13.775. So how did we get doubled our numbers? Well, that's a great way to make your quota, isn't it? So this is a gotcha step that you must be aware of, and this is how it happens. So notice over here with the collapse, we go from cell 9, a row 9 to row 14, which means that what we're producing over here is a summary, but the numbers get added in twice. Down here, we're summing B9 through B64. So it's going to include the detail plus the subtotal. So what we want to do is be aware of that. If we want an accurate number, if we set our grid up this way, you use the subtotal function. Equal subtotal, left parentheses. And what we want to do is we want to choose the sum as the function. So if when I double click here, let's add a comma. And what I want to do is I want to add in the first reference. So over here in the collapsed view, I'll click add a comma after each one of the subtotals.
add in our right parentheses and now we have the correct number so over here let's just follow the format paintbrush just so I have it so 3.3 .3 million 3.3 million now there is another trick so if we want to combine the best elements of having updated links without doubling our sales and get a consolidation let me show you how to sum across multiple worksheets so again start with a new worksheet over here and I'm going to equal sum equal sum left parentheses now here's how this works go over to the north tab in this case now I'm going to be summing the range of cells in this contiguous range so I want us to have the north tab at cell B5 now I'm going to put in I'm going to hold down the shift button while I come over here and select west and make sure that B5 and west so north colon west B5 close it off with the right parentheses and now we have our number 276 276 the really great part is that I can use auto fill to fill horizontally and fill vertically and I get the correct number 13.775 because it is using a formula because it's using a function if one of the numbers were to change so for example over here let's make this 250,000 and now let's come back to this summary report you see it's updated because I use the sum across a contiguous range of worksheets so there you've seen one of the tips that I offer on my DVD 50 best tips for Excel 2007 and I'll see you in the next lesson